Namaskar, welcome to Satya Skills. In this video, let us see about the banking sector reforms of 90s which brought a sea change over the working and also attitude of banking sector in India. As a part of the program of economic stabilization and structural adjustment, the government of India launched banking sector reforms in 1991. The overall package of reforms aimed at enhancement of efficiency and productivity of banks to the global standards and to empower the banks to compete with global banks. The government of India appointed a committee on reforms on the financial system under the leadership of Narasimhan to study the financial system and to recommend measures on par with Basel Committee recommendations on banking sector reforms. And what were the objectives? Banking sector reforms introduced in India, they aimed at achieving the following targets. Timely modifications in the policy framework that governs different components of financial system. The legal base for banks is already there. Long back they settled like RBA Act, Banking Regulation Act. They are, that is legal base is very strong. Then second one is the rationalization of interest rates, subsidiaries, supports etc. which became part of Indian banking after 1969. What happened in 1969? The first Group of commercial banks were nationalized to uh, entrust the responsibility of social welfare. So, that after 1969 now need to be redesigned according to the existing economic conditions. Improving the financial health of banks by prescribing efficient capitalization process, restructuring of weak and sick banks, building a strong and efficient supervisory, regulatory and legal framework for improving the competitive strength of banks, improvement of managerial competence and human resource of banks by regularizing the recruitment and training programs to bring transparency in the working of banks, preparing Indian banks to compete with their global counterparts. The committee submitted its report in November 1991 and gave comprehensive and lengthy list of recommendations. The government of India accepted majority of recommendations and entrusted the responsibility of implementation of recommendations to the Reserve Bank of India. The RBA passed necessary policies and guidelines to banks in India to implement the recommendations instantly. That's all in this video. All the best.